Get back with Global Business, turning our attention to Africa. The effort to build a railway connecting Mombasa and Nairobi has been the largest infrastructure project in Kenya since 1963. China is largely funding the Standard Gauge Railway and the project has been widely claimed as a signature for the East African country. Let's show you how local residents view the railway. The 480-kilometer railway line is the largest infrastructure project undertaken in Kenya since 1963. Connecting Mombasa, the largest port in East Africa, to the Kenyan capital, Nairobi. It will reduce the cost and time taken to move goods from the coast inland. Passenger trains will travel at an average speed of 120 kilometers per hour, with cargo trains at 80 kilometers per hour. I've traveled to Mombasa of late with a bus, and with the bus is seven to eight hours. I'm so excited about the new project. It's four hours, so I save four hours for my, for my for other businesses. Eagerly waiting for it after telling even my children, my own children, even my parents, when I told them the experience I had with the, when I traveled to Mombasa, they are waiting for it to be open. The Chinese standards themselves, they are so high and they are so good. We at first maybe it was a little a little difficult to try to tune in, but right now everyone has tied up, everyone has tuned in and we are by that first we are going to give it the best shots. Since its inception in September 2014, the project has created more than 38,000 jobs. Chinese have done a lot of training to the Kenyan team to maintain the, the, the Standard Gate Railway in future. So I think uh, a lot of us have really uh, developed a character which is, uh, which is noble and which, which is goal-oriented character which will help each and every one of us not only maintain the gate standard mm -hmm. strategy, but also develop the country as well and as a whole. The SGR is built by the China Road and Bridge Company at a cost of $3.8 billion. Most of the funding has been provided by China's Exim Bank. Eventually, the railway line will be expanded into other East African nations. Beryl Oro for CGTN. The Standard Gauge Railway has already created thousands of jobs, and that's just in the first phase of the project. The second leg is expected to commence in July. Raman Young broke, uh, breaks down some of the numbers on the multi-billion dollar project. Of course, there's several bottlenecks as far as Kenya's entire logistics architecture that do need to be resolved. But solving that particular bottleneck that's just been mentioned requires the country's biggest single infrastructure project ever carried out in Kenya. It involves building an entirely new single track standard gauge rail line. Now here are the numbers that we're looking at. At 1,455 uh, millimeters, this thing is 40% wider than the old line and locomotives on it should be able to run at relatively high speeds compared to the old meter gauge rail line. Now construction of the first phase of the rail line directly employs some 25,000 full-time workers, although it's not clear at this point, exactly how many of them will be employed after the construction is completed, once the line has actually got into the Ugandan border, in other words. Construction of the next phase of the line, linking the capital Nairobi to Naivasha, some 100 kilometers away, is set to start somewhere in July or August. Now, once the new line becomes operational in June, passenger trains will be running at at least 120 kilometers an hour from Mombasa to Nairobi. Cargo trains will be moving at a much slower pace of about 80 or so kilometers an hour, covering the same distance at an estimated of about eight hours. Well, back to China now. Today marks the traditional Chinese Duolingo Festival, also known.